Welcome to video 14 in our comprehensive training series on low-code application development. In the previous videos, we covered how to create and execute business processes. Today, we will focus on managing notification templates, specifically how to create, configure, and use them effectively to keep your users informed. Let's dive in. Notifications play a critical role in EKs-based systems by promptly communicating essential information to users. They inform users about important events such as registration completion, password changes, and updates to their records. These notifications are triggered automatically based on predefined settings, ensuring timely communication. We will start by navigating to the main settings menu. Within settings, we will select the business process option and then click on notifications. Here, we will find a table listing all available notification templates. This table includes a search feature, filters, and pagination for easy navigation. Now, let's create a new notification template. The process for creating notification templates in the eCase-based systems is straightforward and involves a few key steps. Let's see how to set one up. First, we will click the Add New button in the upper right corner of the screen. This opens a form where we will need to enter key details. Name. A name for the notification template. This is mandatory for easy identification. Key. A unique key to reference the template programmatically. This field is required. Context. The notification context, which can be an entity, user, or organization. Type. The delivery method of the notification, such as system, email, or SMS. Description, a brief overview to clarify the template's purpose. For system notifications, we will need to enter a clear subject and compose the message body. We can format the text and use variables to personalize the notification for the recipient. If the email content is different from the system notification, we will provide a specific subject and message. Similarly, for SMS, we will include the text message to be sent. Let's set up a notification template for our complaint management system to notify users when their complaint response is approved. First, we will name our template Approved Response. Next, in the key field, we will enter Approved Response without any spaces. This key will uniquely identify the template within our system. To make our notification dynamic and personalized, we will select the Entity checkbox. This allows us to include dynamic fields from our entity, such as the complaint ID in the notification. Once selected, we will choose the complaint entity from the drop-down menu as it contains the necessary information for our notification. Now, let's specify the delivery methods. We will select both system and email, ensuring that users receive notifications within the system, as well as by email at the provided address. Optionally, we can add a description for additional context or details about this notification template. Moving on to the message content, in the subject field, we will write, your response has been approved. This subject line clearly communicates the purpose of the notification. In the body of the notification, the message will read as follows. Dear user's name, we are pleased to inform you that your complaint ID has been approved. Thank you for your contribution. We will dynamically insert the user's name using the created user field from the complaint entity and the complaint ID using the relevant field from the same entity. To ensure consistency across communication channels, we will check the box labeled same as system as we want the email notification template to mirror the system notification template. Once all fields are completed, we will click Save to finalize our new notification templates. Next, we will integrate the notification template into an automation, enabling automated notifications triggered by specific events, such as response approvals. Now, let's create our automation that will send a notification upon response approval. To do this, we will access the Automations subsection, where we will see a list of existing automations. To create a new automation, we will click the Create button in the top right corner. 
This will open the Create Automation form, where we must fill in four key sections – General, Triggers, Conditions, and Actions. In the General section, we will provide the event name, for example, Response Approval. Then, we will associate our event with the relevant entity, which will be Complaint. Optionally, we can add a brief description. After that, we will enable the event to make it active. Next, we will configure the triggers. To do this, we will click the Add button and choose the type of trigger we want to set up. For this tutorial, we will select Transitions and then Approve to trigger the event when a specific record, such as a response, is approved. We can enhance our event-based action by adding conditions to control when notifications are sent. For example, we could send a notification only if the complaint is assigned to a specific department. While these conditions give us more control, we will skip them in this demonstration and focus on setting up basic notification triggers and actions. Finally, let's define the action that will be triggered. We will click Add and select Notification as the action type. In the Notification form, we will configure the notification by specifying the template, recipients, and various settings. First, we will select the notification template. For this demonstration, we will choose the Approved Response notification we created earlier. Next, we have the Expose Recipients option. This toggle controls whether the recipients are visible to each other. If we enable this option, recipients will see who else received the notification. We will leave it off for the recipients to remain anonymous. Now, let's set up the recipients. In the To Recipients section, we can add recipients associated with related records by clicking the Add Recipient link. This allows us to manually add users or groups to the recipient list. We can also specify a group to receive the notification by clicking the drop-down and selecting the appropriate group. For example, we can choose Self-Registered as our target group. To notify a specific user rather than an entire group, we can select an individual user by clicking the drop-down and choosing a user from the list. In the notification form, we have the option to enable the Stop if failed checkbox to halt the process if an error occurs. This ensures that no further actions are taken if the notification cannot be delivered. Once our notification is all set up, we will click Add to include the notification sending action in the Actions list. Now that all sections are complete, we will click the Save button to activate the automation. Our automation is now ready to automatically send notifications whenever a response is approved. After setting up the notification template and automation, we will be taken to the complaints record table to test if the notification works as expected. We will start by selecting a complaint that needs approval. Once we open the complaint, we will click the Actions button and choose the Approve option. This will update the complaint's status to Response Approved and we should receive a system notification. To check the notification, we will click the bell icon in the screen header. The new notification will be displayed at the top of the list. Thank you for watching our video tutorial on how to create notification templates and integrate them into automations. Please be sure to check out our other tutorials for more tips on how to use the system.